With iOS and iPadOS 15, Apple introduced the concept of focus modes. This allowed you to configure your device differently according to what you were doing at the time. They then took that a step further with iOS and iPadOS 16, which would allow you to set up custom home screens with your different focus modes to truly have a unique experience depending on what you were doing. On the iPhone, they extended this functionality further to allow you to customize your lock screens and wallpapers with different focus modes. However, for some reason, inexplicably, that feature still hasn't made it to the iPad, leaving you staring longingly at a beach when you're trying to get some work done or looking at your company's branding when you're trying to unwind. That's been a problem until now. This incredibly simple trick using a combination of focus modes and Apple shortcuts is gonna allow you to rapidly cycle between the different focus modes on your iPad and simultaneously update your wallpaper in a completely painless way. Let's find out how. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we do loads of videos like this, giving you super simple tech tips that solve problems you might not have found the answer to before. If you want to stay in the loop, consider subscribing and turning notifications on so you never miss when we post a new video. Right, let's get into it. Okay, if you haven't already, you're going to want to set up custom home screens with different widgets and apps based on different areas of focus that you'd like to set up on your iPad. I've got some focus areas with their own custom home screens set up already on my iPad for different areas of my life, such as personal, work, sleep. For this video, we're going to set up a brand new one and that's going to be based on fitness. So get the home screen right first. Next, and again, if you haven't already, you're going to want to set up focus modes for the different areas of your life. First, you want to navigate to your iPad settings and then select focus. If you haven't played around too much with focus modes on the iPad, you might already have some default ones in there, such as do not disturb and sleep, and you can customize those to your liking. But as I mentioned, we're gonna set up a new one for fitness. Once you select to create a new focus mode, you're gonna get a list of templates you can choose from. Luckily, fitness is one of those, but you can create your own custom focus areas if you want to. So go ahead and select that. Once you've chosen your area of focus, you can then apply certain home screens to it, as well as customizing it in other ways, such as limiting notifications from certain apps and setting it to start and stop at certain times. Right, so you might have already played around a bit with focus on the iPad and iPhone and are used to setting up custom home screens already. This is where things get a little bit more interesting because we're gonna set up Apple shortcuts to quickly switch between the different focus modes and change the wallpaper when we do. Plus, we're gonna add a shortcuts widget to all of our home screens, which lets us change it all straight from there. So next, you're gonna to wanna to select a photo you'd like to use as your wallpaper for each different focus mode that you have. This could be one you download from Google Images or a photo you've already got in your library. Just pick a photo that suits each focus mode and will work well as a wallpaper. You're then gonna to wanna to make sure that photo is saved into your Photos app and save it into a new album that's named after the focus mode it's going to be the wallpaper for. In this case, I'm creating a new album named Fitness Focus Mode. Make sure your chosen wallpaper for that focus mode is the only photo in that album. Right, so we've set up our focus modes with their own custom home screens. We've chosen a wallpaper that we'd like to use for each of those focus modes. Now we're gonna set up the Apple shortcuts that let us quickly switch between those focus modes and wallpapers. Open the shortcuts app on your iPad and create a new folder in there named focus modes. That's gonna make it really easy to find your focus mode shortcuts later on. Then you're gonna to wanna to create a new shortcut by clicking the plus icon and finding the set focus command. You wanna set it so it turns your focus mode on until turned off. Next, underneath, you're going to want to add a second command of find photos. Set it to find all photos where the album is the album containing your desired wallpaper for that focus mode. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add the set wallpaper command and set it so that it either changes just your home screen or if you like both the home screen and the lock screen to photos. Perfect. Now, every time you toggle that shortcut, it's gonna set your iPad to that focus mode and simultaneously change the wallpaper. You're then going to want to repeat steps one to four for each focus mode you want to set up with its own wallpaper. Once you've got all your focus modes set up with their own custom home screens and corresponding shortcut to turn that focus on, you can then set up a widget on each of your focus modes custom home screens to quickly switch between them. So if you want to jump straight from personal time into working on your side hustle, you just need to click one button on the home screen. It changes your focus and changes your wallpaper at the same time. It works absolutely brilliantly for me and every area of focus I have, I have that one shortcuts widget in the top left that lets me cycle between them really fast. Right, short and sweet this week, but I really hope that video has helped you out. If it did, do me a massive favor and hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel because we post videos weekly and you're not gonna wanna miss the future content we've got on iPad related productivity. See you on the next one.